As no doubt you know, Prime Minister Anthony Albanese is overseas again. Some are unkindly referring to him as Airbus Albo. And it's true, his travel agenda is less than 18 months as PM has been extraordinary. 17 trips. On average, he's been overseas once a month since he won the election. You'll remember he flew to Japan for the quadrilateral meetings just two days after he was elected and before his full ministry was even sworn in. It was a crucial trip, as was his Indonesia visit, then it was off to Spain for NATO and then Fiji. The Queen's funeral saw Albanese in the UK and another funeral for Shinzo Abe took him to Japan. Then ASEAN, the G20 and APEC had him all over Southeast Asia. The PM headed to India for a crucial leaders' summit, the US for AUKUS, London again for the coronation, back to Japan and Singapore then for regional dialogue dialogues. Then it was Germany for NATO, New Zealand, of course, because we're mates, Indonesia for the East Asia Summit and India again for the G20. And now it's Washington, D.C. and the White House for a full state visit. Always an honour and an opportunity for this country, but there's more to come. Albanese will head to Beijing next month for that crucial meeting with Xi Jinping. Then he's got APEC in the US and the Pacific Islands Forum to get in before Christmas as well. And so in 20 months as Prime Minister, Albanese will have made 20 trips to at least 24 countries or thereabouts. This while the country is gripped by domestic problems led by the cost of living crisis and, of course, the energy crunch. There are not many of these trips that Albanese could have skipped, perhaps the NATO summits. This year's high-level US and China visits won't happen again next year, nor, of course, a coronation, presumably. And perhaps the Prime Minister will get some other leaders to visit here in Australia. He'll have to work on that because this amount of travel is unsustainable politically. It wasn't long ago that journalists were mocking Tony Abbott for equalling Kevin Rudd's record of travelling overseas 11 times in his first year as Prime Minister. Albanese might make that record two years in a row.